Alright, so most of my followers know, my subscribers know that we recently bought a Tesla. Uh, we were, for the first month, we were using the mobile charger that plugs into a regular outlet in the garage. And we were getting about 4 miles per hour of charging. My wife drives about 30 miles a day, so we would have to charge it at 8 o'clock at night, and hopefully it would be done charging to the 80% mark that Tesla recommends by 7 in the morning when she went to go to work. However, if we ever decided to venture out during the day to take her car, there would not be enough time to where her car would fully back charge that 80%. So I called the electrician out. He came out there and looked. Said he can ran a 30 amp fuse from my box in my basement out to my garage. And he said he'd get back to me with a quote. And this was a, a licensed electrician, so it wasn't like some guy I knew or anything like that. And uh, he comes back to me and tells me it would be $2,500. Had it known that we were going to be living here, I mean, we own the home, but we don't know how long we're going to live here for. If we're going to decide to go maybe upsize and get another bedroom, I'm not sure. So I just told my wife, I was like, I'm not spending $2,500 uh, to have that wire ran. So I looked up on Amazon, see if there's any alternate routes uh, to do. And I came across a NEMA 1030 uh, splitter that can plug into your dryer vent in your laundry room. And what it does is splits the wires to form two. And then I came across a gentleman that was uh, posted a video on YouTube that kind of showed the gist of what had to be done in order for this to work. So I bought a 50-foot uh, extension cord, 1030 NEMA charge, or, no, I'm sorry, NEMA 1030 extension cord of 50 feet. So that ran from my outlet in my basement, as you'll see in the following videos how that went, all the way out to our garage, and then it replaced the charger that was plugged into the, or the cord that was plugged into the wall charger that got four miles to the uh, hour. And I figured it would be easier to do, and it cost me a whopping about 130 bucks. Uh, the charger or the extension cord was $100 and had a 5% off thing on Amazon at the time. And then the splitter was $30. It was $34, and then that also had some kind of coupon with it. So I saved myself about $3,300, $3,350 for something I could do on my own. And, and it's sufficient for what we need to do. Like I said, if it was a permanent. If we knew we were going to live here the rest of our lives, I would have done it. Uh, but I, I just don't see that happening. My wife, she tends to uh, like different things. And after she does her thing, she's more of an interior decorator than I ever was. And she, once she gets her thing and then she changes it out every three months and it gets old, she, we, she tends to start looking at Zillow and other things in the area. Uh, just to, And I just let her be because happy wife, happy life. So we did this route. I'm going to go ahead and go through the video of what it looked like for and me running some of the wires through the walls and then showing the difference of what the charge type would have been uh, to what it is now. I'm hoping to get over 20 miles per hour of charging. If that does, we could schedule our charging from like 2 in the morning to 4 in the morning because that is the lowest rates that our energy company does offer is at that time frame, like 2 to 6, I believe it was, or 12 to 11, 1 to 6. But if we only need it for a couple hours of charging, we'll just do the two to four. Because uh, I believe it goes down to seven cents a kilowatt hour, I think it was. I think that's what uh, Evergy told me. And because our last bill we had gotten for the first 30 days of us charging, my wife drove about 1,000 miles. One of those was a supercharge, so that I can't count, let's just say, 90 miles of it. And um, our electric bill went up $31.67. So for 900 miles of driving for $31, that's a huge savings compared to what gas would have cost on our previous vehicle. So again, follow along this video. I'll show you the steps that I took, and then I'll charge it at the end and see what the difference is of the kilowatts hours per charging uh, with the new Tesla NEMA 1030 adapter. Stay tuned. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, picky tail there. We want to form two outlets. And I got two, one going to the dryer now, and one going to this cord here, which is going to lead to the Tesla. I'm going to run it from here up through the hole up here on the trot, and then come over here in the bathroom. Up over here, I'm going to tie it to these uh, uh, wood truss or wood, whatever they're called, floor, whatever they are. And we're going to go up over to here, into that hole I drilled over there, 
And then I don't know if it's gonna be too dark in here or not, but it's gonna come over to here and then out that up there where I already got the hole drilled, but I gotta drill from the outside. We're gonna run it through there and then that way we'll get the uh, 1030, uh, NEMA 1030 to be able to charge a Tesla rather than the wall charger. And it looks like it's gonna give about 20, 20 some miles to the hour rather than the four that you use the regular wall charger with. There's a little short run here and here's the washer and dryer. All right, so I got the basement part done here. I got it charged up over to here, ran over to there, up over into here, all the way across to there, on the other side of here, ran up over to here, through that hole there, and so far I got it ran down here. I just got to drill the hole on the other side there. And I'll be able to feed it through into the garage. All right, so here's what I did. I put a little uh, dryer vent down there to run the wire through the basement wall. I have it coming up over to here. Got the little straps going on around. Over here, along here. And then the 1030 cord. I did get a 50 foot cord from Amazon. This is the cord here and I got it hidden behind our Wichita State flag. Uh, I did like, I do have the previous cord still on there that was only giving me four miles to the gallon. I do have power, which is good. I have yet to test it. We will see. But she had the car fully charged. So I am going to drive it around here a little bit. Try to get it down about 20%. To get it down about 60% of uh, charge. Uh, so that way when we charge up 80, we can actually see how fast it takes to charge up to that using the 1030 rather than the uh, the regular wall charger. So I'm gonna drive it around here now. I've already used about a uh, percent of it. So I'm gonna keep on driving around so that way I can see. I'm hoping with the new NEMA 1030 installed, we'll be able to get over 20 miles per hour charging rather than the four. Because like, my wife would charge her vehicle overnight about 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. And uh, she would usually be just about done charging by the time she went to work. So she usually drives about 30 miles a day. So, like I said, we're just going to drive it around here, try to get down a little low, and then try to take it back to the house and uh, see what kind of uh, miles per hour we are going to be charging with the new NEMA 1030. So we will see. Uh, so she had 44 miles of charging, which would have took about 11 hours to charge the other way. So we're going to go ahead and charge it in this way. Plug it in. Oh, yeah, she had 100 miles. It's starting to charge here now. All right. So I'm going to start seeing it creep up here in a moment. And we just passed the four miles per hour that the wall charger was doing. Come on. Come on. Get up to that 24. Did I do something wrong? Nope. There it is. 21 miles per hour charging, 243 volts. Two hours and 10 minutes, that is going to be 11 hours. Huge, huge difference. Now we only can charge from like two to four in the morning, two to five in the morning for the amount of miles she drives, which will be a huge difference uh, for sure because sometimes we were worried about if her car would charge before we left for go to work. So, yep, now we're good to there. Again, I wish we would have done this when we first got it rather than that. We fought with that mobile charger for about a month and uh, it just wasn't cutting it because if we ever decided to go like another venture out somewhere else it would never charge in time for her to go to work the next morning we'd have to charge over the weekend but glad we did it quick uh quick video quick quick install it was easy install i just had to go through a couple of uh, wood bores there that were kind of a little thicker than i thought but i had the right tools the ryobi drill uh it, it didn't let it didn't do too very good but i it, but i it took me a couple times placing the batteries but got it done again this is reviews of moose we appreciate your uh tuning in please like comment and subscribe and everybody have a great day uh -huh.